Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna read the scenario and approach this just like we would if we're doing this on the exam. All right, first the scenario, bring your own device and associated policies like corporate owned, personally enabled, or COPE can create growing pains for some organizations. As a cybersecurity manager for an organization that has just given its employees the option to use their own devices, you have already run into a number of security issues and requests that you need to help resolve. Some current issues are as follows. The CISO, Chief, Chief Information Security Officer, wants to install enterprise software that tightly sandboxes enterprise mobile apps and presents, prevents data loss. The network administration team is clamoring for tighter controls on the types of apps mobile users are authorized to use. I should say to use. The CISO is requesting a baseline of mobile user behavior to address some concerns regarding the corporate, the company's assets, okay? The chief information officer and chief technology officer want specific mobile phone functions restricted in and out of the company building. I'll tell you, this is a pretty large company if you have a CTO, a CISO, and a, C and a CIO. The finance and accounting teams have expressed concerns about data confidentiality, and the sales division wants help in keeping mobile devices secure during travel. I doubt the sales division cares about securing the devices during travel, but in the context of the scenario, we're gonna go with that. All right, as a manager, you will now decide on the actions needed to resolve mobile issues that have arisen in your workforce. Now this is completely, fan that's all in the realm of fantasy. As a, as a IT manager, you're gonna be making recommendations to the CISO and the CISO is gonna decide. You're not making these decisions. But anyway, okay, in the fantasy realm of CompTIA, we're going to go with this. Okay, so let's see. I think most of this. Okay, so this is one of these logic puzzle types questions. We're going to be given some information here. A speech balloons by these individuals, security engineer, CISO, chief information officer, network admin, finance manager, and sales executive. And then we have to piece together from that and the scenario what we need to what we need to drag here. So this should be pretty pretty straightforward because we just drag these to the local to the locations. All right. All right. So the CISO authorized software. Now this is from the security engineer. The CISO authorized software that isolates enterprise mobile apps, enforces storage segmentation, requires a VPN, and assists mobile data loss prevention. Okay, so the CISO author, so we're looking for a type of software that can do these things. So which one of these is a type of software? Micro SD hardware security module or HSM, that's gonna be a piece of hardware. Perform remote wipe, that, that's just an action. Mobile containerization is a technique. App management through EAM, that could possibly be it. Enable geofencing and context aware management. Interesting. Okay, let's keep reading these before we make any decisions. CISO. The CISO is saying, since intellectual property theft is an ongoing concern, I'd like you to establish a baseline of behavior on the mobile device management and report any deviations from the norm. Okay, so we're going to be doing a, a baseline that could be at mate, well, Let's keep reading these, and then they'll make more sense, I think. We're gonna, we're gonna go through the ones that are very easy, we'll select those, and then we'll see what's left. All right, Chief Information Officer, to discourage certain usage, we'd like to limit the function of devices, whether they're in or out of company premises. Okay, that's almost an exact definition of geofencing. Let's go ahead and put geofencing there. Geofencing, remember, that's controlling, that's a type of access control method, where you take the device's location and you apply certain access privileges. It's also, you can count it as a, a form or a technique used with multi-factor authentication, somewhere you are. Okay, network admin. It would be helpful to allow only whitelisted apps to run when the device is in workspace mode. Helpful to only allow whitelisted apps to want, run when the device is in workspace mode. Okay, that could be a number of these. We'll keep going, that's not super clear. Finance manager says, I'm discussing sensitive financial data with my analysts and the accounting team daily. 
I'd like our Android devices to have the strongest encryption possible. Okay. Now, encryption speaks directly to a micro SD hard drive security module. So let's go ahead and put an HSM in there. I think that fits pretty well. Remember, HSMs are uh, devices that are designed to specifically do encryption. So they speed up the encryption process. If you have a lot of encryption that you're using on your network or on a device, you might want to dedicate that to an HSM. All right, and a sales executive says, my suitcase with sales documentation was stolen at last week's Salesforce conference and my Cope, right, his iPhone 11 Pro Max uh, device was inside. Okay, so if it was stolen to protect the data there, we can do that through a remote wipe. So that's a good technique right there. So let's go ahead and put remote wipe there. All right. <clears throat> now let's take a look at some of these other ones now that we've looked through all the options. The CISO authorized software that isolates enterprise mobile apps and forces storage segmentation, requires a VPN, and assists mobile, mobile data loss prevention. Now, I wanted to say, what's the third one? What's the one that talks about apps specifically? It would be helpful to allow only whitelisted apps to run when the device is in workspace mode. This one's going to be probably app management through EMM or uh, enterprise mobile management. Enterprise mobile management is another term for mobile device management, just another fancy marketing term. If you're doing mobile device management at the enterprise level, now it's suddenly EMM. It's still the same thing. Okay. Uh, so we, we eliminated that one. I think this one's probably mobile containerization. Let's read this one. Since intellectual property theft is an ongoing concern, I'd like to establish a baseline behavior on the mobile device management and report any deviations from the norm. Now, mo intellectual property theft, we're looking at specific terms, right? Uh, so key information or tagged information. So I'd say that would be context aware management. And then this one, which seems to fit pretty well. Remember we say storage segmentation here. That should be mobile containerization. Okay. And do you guys have any, anybody have any uh, other thoughts on this? Okay. Let me know. No? Anybody? Looks good? Okay. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. I gotta say, I think we did a nice job here. Now, the, one of these questions, the way I did this, where you go through the easy ones first, on the drag and drop ones, that's a really good way to do it. If you see something like this one, I think the first selection we did was geofencing. This is the definition of geofencing. Whether they're in or out of company premises, you can immediately knock that out. And as soon as you start doing that, you get the easy questions. That's when you start feeling more confident with the question. You feel mastery of the question. But let's see if we did what we were saying we were supposed to do. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and submit this. Okay, great. All right, so we did get it all correct. Now let's read their explanation. All right, containerization meets the CISO's need as identified by the security engineer. Mobile containerization enables organization to tightly control and maintain a portion of the device. The device would be the container that houses enterprise apps. Okay, I mean the container, you can have a separate container within the app as well. So that's a little misleading, but that's fine. The container isolates corporate apps from the rest of the device. Yeah, that's more accurate. And may enforce additional user authentication. Containerization also enforces storage segmentation and protects apps from unauthorized external access. Yep. CISO's need is a tool that can help stop unauthorized access to intellectual property assets. Context where management is a feature within mobile device management platforms that can enforce security policies and various restrictions can monitor user behavior and apply security policies when user behavior deviates from anticipated or authorized activity. Moreover, it generates alerts. Yeah, context-aware management protects intellectual property. Got it. Geofencing, we don't need to go over that one. That's pretty easy. Uh, EMM software will meet the network admin's needs, and this is for the network software right here. Be helpful to allow only whitelisted apps. So EMM software will help. Uh, so many users will have poor personal or corporate apps installed on the same device, mitigate the risk to the rest of the network. The EMM can allow only vetted apps and, function, and functions while the device is in around workspace or when using the corporate network. 
So you can couple this with geofencing. You can also enable this whenever it's, the device itself is connected to the corporate network only. Okay, useful tools there. And the finance manager, remember the finance manager was discussing sensitive financial data with analysts. They wanted uh, encryption. So hardware security modules are gonna help with encryption. And the, the advantage of having a micro SD card is you could insert that chip into the device. So you have some sort of external, you're basically beefing up the device to allow it to perform that encryption faster because mobile devices don't have a lot of power. First off, they don't have as much processing power as like a laptop. Though modern, modern uh, devices are, are pretty powerful and a lot of enterprises will get a run for their money with their older laptops versus a newer smartphone. But a hardware security module is an excellent uh, tool there. Hardware security module can you work with existing EMM software, yeah, and it can work with public key infrastructure. Absolutely can. It can also store keys. So you can store cryptographic keys on the HSM for added security. Having the ability to perform a remote wipe on the sales executive mobile device, the bonehead who lost his device at the Salesforce conference, uh, helps mitigate the risk of losing sensitive data. So if you've lost uh, a device, now you would also want to do other risk mitigation techniques like full device encryption, or if you couple that with containerization, you can apply encryption to just the data, the corporate data that's stored on that device. But remote wipe is definitely a good option. Now this says specifically for a, a COPE device, remember COPE is corporate owned um, for employees use. Now, a lot of organizations, even with bring your own device policies, they require some sort of remote wipe to be enabled, which is very cheap on the, the corporate side, very cheap for the corporation, and it's pretty intrusive for the user. But I've seen it many times. Okay, great. Well, guys, if you have any questions, please email info at cybercrafttraining.com or you know, leave a comment in the chat. Be happy to answer your questions.